What is up guys, my name is Andrew and welcome back to our Space Engineers Economy Only Challenge mini-series. We're on the moon still and we have a little bit of a base going that we started last episode. This episode we have very lofty goals. Our goals are to uh, complete most of this base, get it actually up and running. Uh, if we can get this re uh, refinery up and running, that's greatly going to increase the, uh, the amount we're able to sell to all of the stations. So that is our main goal in this episode, to do that. Uh, ideally, I would like to also get another ship, or, or not another ship, a ship from the uh, from the mine station up there. Um, that would be very nice to do, but uh, but we'll see about that. That might be a little bit of a stretch goal. Um, but you know, this episode will be a success if at the end of this episode we have a ship. I think. Um, okay, but anyways, welcome back. Uh, we're going to do a little bit more work. We're going to try and actually get this stuff up and running. Um, our main blockage is of course those motors and small steel tubes. But uh, hopefully we can find them in this episode. Uh, actually, one thing that you guys commented on, a lot of you guys commented saying that uh, instead of building a container like this, we should really be looking to build a container like this. One of these freight containers because they require so much less uh, to build. So I think we're going to try that. Not, not the interior wall, but one of these. Let's get this freight container right here. Actually, do they vary in how much they... Okay, we're going to get the smallest one, I think. Uh, so let's get this one right here. And we're going to try and build it up, maybe, I don't know, it does, honestly doesn't matter. Let's just put it right there and see if we can build it up. Okay, we need some construction components, which I'm going to yoink from here. And we're able to build that. Boom! Just like that, we have storage. It's only 500 or 5,000 liters, but that's going to be uh, huge for us. We can put these in there, all of this. Honestly, I'm just going to put everything in there because I don't want to be holding on to it anymore. 5,000 liters is plenty for us, and considering how cheap that was, we can build uh, many more of them. So uh, ideally having a, 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 a container like this would be nice, but um, having these are going to do for now. So thank you for all of you who commented that these would be better. Uh, we're going to use a couple of those. Um, okay, let's let's take a trip real quick to the uh, to the beacon over there because I want to see what they have in the store. And I don't know, we're at the start of this episode, I don't know if it will have changed since last episode. But I'd like to uh, I'd like to check it out because maybe it has, and if it has, uh, we'd be able to build those uh, or buy those motors and small steel tubes that were missing for some of our stuff. So, uh, and also also the uh, power stuff. So th those would all be nice, all nice things that we could potentially get. Welcome to the station. We have gro uh, grown to know and love. Uh, I don't know if a day has a day passed. Like, have I not paid rent? I don't remember. I, I think I probably would have paid rent early on. So I think we should be good. Okay, with full power, let's go ahead and check this thing. Oh, what, what, what missions do we have here? Deliver items? I forgot. What missions do we have uh, currently? We have a bunch of these missions, which are going to require us to get a refinery up and running. That's fine, because those never expire. I want to check real quick to see what acquisitions you have. Okay, so this definitely has not reset, because the acquisitions are still there. Okay, they're selling both interior plates and construction components. I'm going to go ahead and buy another 16 of these. Uh, one six right here. And I'm going to go ahead and buy another... Uh, 12 of these because I think that should give me enough to build another one of these guys. Yes, that will. Okay, so we have to wait for this to uh, to reset. So let's go and do other stuff. I'm actually going to yoink that because no need for it to be just chilling here. Uh, let's go back to our base. We'll build a couple more of those freight things and uh, we, we'll be able to store a little bit more. Uh, and maybe we'll do a little bit of mining just to get some stuff in the freight containers that we've built. That would be pretty nice. Let's, uh, let's put these back. And did I have a bunch of this stuff? I actually did sort of have some stuff, so I didn't necessarily need to buy anything. But let's put a couple more of these things up. I'm going to put one right there and one right there. And those are going to be our storage for now. There we go. We now have 15,000 storage to our name. Good stuff. Thank you so much for those suggestions. Um, okay, let's go to one of these mining facilities. And in fact, I'm looking for a specific one. Nickel. Okay, so one of you uh, commented and said that nickel, like standard nickel deposits that are alone with nothing else, don't actually spawn on the moon. Someone said that if there's nickel, there will also be platinum underneath. So I'm going to I'm gonna give that a try. So we have nickel, but I want to see if there's also platinum underneath because supposedly nickel cannot spawn alone. So let's go down a little bit and uh, and see if that is the case. And if it's not, we'll just, we'll just mine a little bit of nickel. That's fine too. I can use a little bit of nickel. <laughs> I'm sure I can sell it eventually. But uh, so far, not seeing the plow. Oh my god, they were right! There is actually platinum down there! I, I'll i tell you what, I, I doubted it. I doubted it myself, but uh, it turns out it's true. There's platinum with nickel. So, uh, good job to the people who know their stuff. Seriously, that's that's some good work. Good detective work. Alright, we'll, gra we'll grab a little bit of this nickel, why not? Maybe we'll grab half nickel, half platinum. Even though the platinum is probably way more valuable than the nickel. 
Let's fly away with our newly acquired platinum. Good tips. Good tips from everybody in the comments. Um, where is our base? I believe it's over this way. Yes, it should be. Maybe it's over there. Wait. No, it's over there. And there it is. Our lovely small little base over there. I wonder if anyone wants platinum. Oh, that, that station might be uh, changed a little bit. I'll have to go check it out. Uh, but while we're here, let's actually place a, an O2 H2 generator as well, because um, that's something that I want to build as well. So O2 H2 generator, we're going to throw that on the hot bar. There we go. And uh, I think we might just stick it right there. That's not a bad spot. We'll eventually move all this stuff around, but but I'm just, I'm just putting it on the base for now so that we know where it is. Now, was this a steel plate item or was this a... There we go. Or was this a... Uh, Interior plate one. It's a steel plate one. Okay. All right. So that's also going to require those computer or those uh, those motors as well as some computers and construct. Computers were super cheap, weren't they? Yeah, I bought a bunch of computers. You know, one thing I should also be a little cautious about is that these require uh, steel plates. So I should probably go and buy some steel plates up. Actually, then again, at the same time, yeah, we're a little bit poor, so maybe I shouldn't go buy steel plates. We really do need to wait for those motors. Okay, well anyway, let's go and check out the uh, the mine station up there, see if anything has changed about their situation, and uh, and if we can maybe buy some stuff. I recently learned from another commenter, by the way, that the uh, that some of the contracts, specifically the bounty ones, uh, require other players to be in the world. That's something I didn't know. I assumed that they bountied you to like random space pirates, but I guess uh, those are actual player bounties. Uh, and since this is a single player world, I guess we won't get any bounty contracts. Uh, we can confirm that real quick, see if they if they appear. Nope, there are no bounty contracts, but they should have like escort ones, yeah. Escort, hauling, repair. Um, yeah, space ones that usually have all the contracts, but planet side ones are a little bit limited. Uh, do you have any acquisitions that I can complete right now? You want nickel? I'll go ahead and accept that because that's super easy to complete. Um, question is, do you, do you have any search contracts that are worth a lot? Some 50,000s I saw. It's not bad. Let's go over here and uh, and check out what you have here. Oh, another thing you guys were commenting on was that my prices are insanely high, apparently. Uh, some of you are saying that the large 80, 800, no, 800 million uh, credit ship that I had, you guys could get for like 13 million or something like that. I don't know what that's about. Uh, I, I, I must have angered this faction or they have really bad prices. I mean, just look at this one right here. This is a billion. That's mi million billion. Yeah, that's 1.2 billion space credits to get the blue ambassador explorer which is a little insane. So my prices, I guess, are a little more expensive than uh, than some of yours out there, which, yeah, I don't know what that's about, but, uh, you know, you got to do what you got to do, right? Um, okay, let's go sit at a table so we can replenish our, our stuff here. And, uh, and then we'll go back and grab a little bit of that nickel that they wanted. All right, and of course, to get back to the moon, we just simply walk off the edge of this thing. <laughs> that's so awesome. All right, don't mind us. We're just making a quick stop over here to grab a little bit of nickel so that we can bring it back for 50 space credits. Um, where's our nickel? Right here. How much do they want, by the way? I can't imagine it's that much. 363 nickel. That's nothing. 363. Thank you. There we go. And let's go and give that to them. All right, mine station. I've got the stuff that you requested. Uh, I believe it's this one. Let's go ahead and finish that one. There you go. Thank you very much for the reputation and the cash. All right, after that, let's make a trip directly to the other one. Uh, there's nothing we can return there, but I think it probably will change by now. Okay, welcome back to the green station. I hope they have changed by now. We'll see, though. Uh, what do you guys have? Anything new? I can't actually check from the data pads, but what I can check from is these, which I don't think they've changed. Um, they should any second now, though. They, it's usually not that long. Um, now, I think I might want to acquire some... No, they're not selling steel plates right now, so never mind. I will not acquire steel plates. Uh, let's go ahead and buy one of those. And... I think we're just going to sit around a little bit because it should be uh, it should be changing any second now. So we're just going to sit here for a few seconds and uh, and see if it changes. All right, it's been a few seconds. Let's uh, let's have a quick uh, a quick look to see if acquisitions. Ah, yes. Okay, they have changed. Awesome. They they want nickel, which I'll gladly accept, uh, and that's all that we can provide them. Now they also want power cell uh, power cells. Now are they selling power cells? Though is the question. They're selling displays. Was that something that we had trouble getting? I don't remember. Mm, let's see what else they are selling. Are they selling anything? Ah, small steel tubes. Okay, that's one of the things we needed. Unfortunately, they're not selling motors, though, which is the other thing we need. But I'll buy these small steel tubes. I don't know how many we want. Let's make, or let's get, uh, if we wanted 100, how much? Ooh, that's too much. Uh, 
50 maybe? I, I don't really know how much we need. I guess I can min-max this since we're a little low on cash. So let's uh, let's actually make some calculations here real quick. I think I had already calculated this, but I've forgotten since. Okay, so we technically only need 20 of these, so I guess we'll grab 20. Um, and we'll buy those. I don't want to go too crazy spending all my money because, again, that's all we really have. And we're, we're, we're kind of uh, losing money pretty quickly, so yeah. I don't, I don't want to lose it all. All right, you know what we'll do as well? We'll pick up a, a search mission just to just to give us something to do. And it is not really in the direction of our base, which is not great, but that's fine. We'll just... It's it's fine. Let's go see what's on the other side of the moon, I guess. <laughs> um, I mean, that'll be interesting. I, there, there probably are stations over there. We just haven't been able to, uh, to see them because we haven't gotten close enough. But I guess this will give us the opportunity. Um... Let's, let's see. Let's find out. Hopefully it's in a flat area, like the first one that we did last episode, and not in an area like this, because this would be quite a pain to, uh, to try. But if we find another station... I mean, if we find an ore station on the moon, we're set. We are like... we, we will have everything for us. Uh, but just finding another station in general, just in this general direction over here, maybe like in orbit or something, would also be good. So, Alright, last, loca last location of the ship. We are approaching it. We should be checking the ground to see if we see anything that looks shippy. I don't at the moment. As we're falling, maybe we'll uh, maybe we'll spot it from the sky. I'm not able to spot it from here. But if you have eagle eyes, you may have already spotted it yourself. Okay, so yeah, I thought I saw something blinking over here, but I guess not. Uh, I don't see anything. Okay, we'll, we'll just uh, we'll just do a little bit of a radius. I think that might be our best plan. Uh, some some of you commented, by the way. I got a couple comments that I should not be grinding down the ships because it loses me reputation. But uh, I don't know. Like I said last episode, I think that the materials that we get are far better than the reputation that we lose. Um, I don't know. I, I just feel like it's uh, it's much more worth it to take those materials, especially if we get stuff that's not sold, like uh, like um, motors and stuff. Let's see what's in here. We got iron. Is that it? I guess that's it. Oh, you know what? You know, remember when I said that, uh, remember when we found the platinum? Someone actually also said that gold spawns with silver and that silver doesn't spawn alone. So remember that area we have where silver is alone? Maybe there's gold down there too. Who knows? We'll, uh, we'll have to go back there and find out. I think we got unlucky with our, uh, with our search contract again because this is another one of those areas where it's just really, really difficult to search. Okay, so I've turned off my flashlight hoping that I'll be able to see the ship better in the dark. I don't know if that's true, but... <laughs> Alright, I'm sure because YouTube uh, compresses everything, I'm sure you guys cannot see a thing. Uh, well, I can hardly see a thing either because the space just got real. What we're gonna do is... how far are we? We're 400? Ah, eh, we'll go this way a little bit more. I think we're gonna fly toward the thing and just look down in the pitch black. So we can uh, so we can see if we can uh, spot it. Yes. Okay. So we're gonna fly this way. We're gonna look above it, and we're just looking for a light. That's not the right light. Neither is that. We're looking for some sort of light off in the distance. Maybe we'll hover around here for a second. Look around. Wait. Is that it? I see a blue light down there. I think that might be it. Is this the tactic? Is the tactic to wait for nighttime and just literally hover over it? Can I grind some? Nah, we're too slow. Okay, light comes back on. Yeah, I was a little too slow on that one. I really did want to grind stuff, hopefully see if I could get some motors, but that's fine. We got a little bit of cash, we got a little bit of reputation, and we discovered a tactic that works for if you don't have a ship. All right, let's uh, let's go deliver our items. I don't think we have any items to deliver, but let's go there anyway because we need power and we need um, hydrogen. Fly me to the moon, to the station over there. Hopefully they've got motors they can sell to me. In other words, <laughs> please be free. <laughs> We're out of cash. Here we are at the STDE station. Our power is dwindling, but we're, we're back, so it doesn't matter. Let's hop in here, get a little bit of their free power. Thank you very much. Let's see if they actually, uh, did they, did they uh, change? I doubt it. Nope, they did not. That's fine. We'll just chill for a second. Okay, let's go back to base. Oh, I want to see if there's gold underneath that silver as well. Alright, here is our silver. 
And the theory goes that underneath silver, if there's nothing else and it's just silver, then there shall be gold underneath. Is that true? We'll find out. Uh, let's start right here and we'll just start digging down toward that silver. And hopefully by the time we get close to it, we might see some gold. All right, yeah, okay. I, I don't think there's any gold under here. We went really, really deep. If there is gold, how far does this one go? Yeah, if there is gold, maybe there's some all the way over here? Oh, there's cobalt. It's silver and cobalt. Okay, so so it wasn't only silver. It's actually just silver and something else. Okay, no worries. All right, let's stop by here. Give this give this thing our small steel tubes that we purchased for it. What do you still need? Oh, I never checked if there were solar cells at the other place. Okay, well since we're here, let's go and mine a couple of uh, a couple of things. Okay, let's let's mine whatever's down here. Okay, yeah, this goes straight to iron. Let's mine some iron, get a full inventory of that, and put it at our base so that we have it. Because we know it won't despawn, and we know eventually we're gonna want it, so might as well, might as well get it, right? I don't actually have a marker on the base, but I kind of know where it is from from all the other markers that I have. I should really turn some of those off, probably. There we go. I put all this stuff back as well. All right, so since that station over there changed, I want to go check if the mine station has changed as well. I think it probably has. Uh, I've written down everything we need building material wise, and those are uh, 18 construction components, 18 motors, and 100 and what? 100 and, 188 steel plates. So if we can find any of those things, that would be good. I don't expect mine to stock them, but uh, you know, maybe we can find a mission from mine. A mine mission. Hopefully, a mining mission. A mining mission would be nice. Okay, mine station. Do you have anything else at the store? Still have something for a billion. But, uh, I mean, that's 200 million off, so that's a pretty good deal, I guess. Uh, <laughs> power kits they're selling. Um, we have plenty of them at the base, though. Uh, wait, no, I can, this is the stuff I can sell. Can I sell anything useful? No. Although, maybe I can sell some of my excess components or something. I don't know. Uh, over here, though, do you have any acquisitions that I might want to, uh, to do? They have an acquisition. I'm actually going to accept this platinum ingot uh, acquisition because we will be able to complete it one day. Hopefully. All right, you guys know the drill. We're going back to the base, and then we're going back to that one right there. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to give it all of its nickel that it wanted. 438. This is why it's going to be nice when we have a ship, because we can just have a ship carrying all this stuff or something. And welcome back, everybody. Um, contracts, have you changed? They have? Yes, they have. Okay, they have another nickel contract, which... Uh, <laughs> rip. Uh, they have cobalt contract as well. I will go ahead and accept that. Uh, I'm going to deliver on this nickel one because this is more than the other one is. Really should have brought a little bit more nickel. But anyways, I want to see what they have now. Are they selling stuff that I need? Motors specifically. Motors, motors, motors. Nope, they're not selling motors. Are they selling... What else do I need? Steel plates? I don't think they're selling those. Uh, but they might be selling construction components. Yes, they are. I needed 18. So I will go ahead and buy just 18. Thank you. Uh, and I... I think that's all we need for now. Okay, well, this is pretty much my life until they actually give me the stuff that I want. I guess we'll do a uh, another search contract while we're waiting. Ooh, it wants us to go 15 kilometers. All right, that's fine. We have unlimited speed mods, so it, it's uh, it's not actually that big of a deal. You know, we've actually traveled a lot of the moon and we haven't found another beacon, which kind of surprises me a little bit. Because that would indicate that, I mean, the moon's kind of really small. You can see most of it, can't you? That's almost on the other side of the moon right there, and we can see it. So it makes me wonder, kind of, if there's only one station attached to the moon. But that would be a little crazy, would You're kidding me, right? I'm going to attempt to grind this. <laughs> I don't care what you guys say. I'm trying to get some uh, some motors. Did I get anything? I, I guess I did, because it... No, I actually didn't get anything. I just lost reputation. Okay, rip. That's fine. That was a very easy mission. Should I continue? I mean, I'm already on this side of the moon. I might as well just, like... Go all the way around, I guess. Because, I don't know, we might find another station or something. We just need to go, uh, like, 200 or something, and I think we'll orbit around. Last time we went a little bit too fast, so this time we'll just stick it at about this speed. And we should be good. But we'll see if, uh, we'll see if we find another station. I think if you get within 15 kilometers, they're supposed to, uh, show up. So, I'm a little bit surprised that we haven't seen one. I guess we'll keep this on just in case we do spot one. But yeah, this is like the perfect orbiting speed for the moon. 
uh, at full gravity at least. Oh, I didn't consider this. Oh, we're on the dark side of the moon. That's scary. Well, here comes the uh, here comes the Earth again, but uh, we're on the dark side of the moon, which is a little scary. That's okay. That's the mine station. So I guess if there's any stations, it'd be probably over there. But we've almost circumvented the. Is that the right word? Circumnavigated, maybe. Uh, we've almost gone around the entire moon, and we haven't seen another station. So I think the moon is uh, fairly limited in in uh, in its stations. There's the beautiful mine station over there. Little bubble. Little mine bubble. And just gotta get over this mountain and we'll be good. Yep, I think we're good. That'd be amazing if we managed to crash right into the uh <laughs> right into the station. Oh no, we're a little low. I chickened out. <laughs> but it was close though. Alright, hello station, we are back. We've completed your mission. Give us another. Actually, it's getting a little bit low uh, for the sun, so I think it might be close to time to uh, to sleep here. Maybe sleep sleep to the next day so we get another set of stuff. Actually, who am I kidding? We should be doing every mission that we can. Every one of these, because it's nighttime, or it's at least becoming nighttime. Uh, yeah, let's, let's do another one of these while we're here. I hope you guys can actually see that. Oh, man. Oh, look at that. Behold <laughs> the earth right on top of us. Oh, now the ground is pitch black. Let's turn our light a little bit. It actually, I don't know, it's a little easier to see it in the dark. Actually, can you imagine walking on the moon like this? You would be able to see really far, I think, just because of the light that the, the Earth would put out. Just like we have moonlight... Wait, is that it? I see something over there. Yeah, just like we have moonlight, we, have, we would have Earth light as well. And grind! <laughs> I think we got one steel plate out of it, but we did we did find it. And we did get reputation for it. I think our reputation is going up. We can check out the uh, STDE. Yeah, we have 73 reputation. I mean, without grinding those things down, maybe we'd have like 80 or 90 or something like that. So they are definitely hurting us a little bit, but... Hello, STDE. I've completed your mission again. I would like another. Uh, maybe we sit in the chair. Actually, let's see if it's changed real quick. I want to hop in here. I want to check out their acquisitions. Yes, okay, so it has changed. We're going to grab whatever we can. Silicon, yes. We'll grab, that's it, and we'll grab, we'll check out what they have here. Please have motors, and please have the other stuff I need. <laughs> Looks like they don't have motors. They have steel plates though, and I needed 18. No, I needed 100 something. I need 188, 187 now that I have, uh, um, now that I got that one. Yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. Okay, well the O2H2 uh, generator is gonna have to wait. But we really do need to get the refinery up and running. That thing only needs, I think it was 59. Ooh, that's going to cost us all our money. Okay, let's get everything that we need, and then we'll get the steel plates. Although, I mean, what can we steal steel plates from? They're so expensive, that's the problem. Okay, I don't. since I don't know when those steel plates are going to go on sale next, I guess let's get the steel plates. It'll be fine, because I have more missions that I can do. I mean, we're low on money, and we're about to go to sleep. All right, everybody, the sun is going down. I think it's actually already down, so it's probably about time to go to sleep. Um, we're a little bit low on money, so we're going to be going to sleep. It's going to cost us 50k to do that, uh, which is bad. But we have 100k, so we'll still have enough for another night if we uh, if we have trouble finding stuff. Let me go ahead and yoink some hydrogen before we, uh, before we go to sleep, just so we have it. I think we're good on everything else, though. Yeah, we can't buy anything here anyway. If they had motors, I'd be super happy, but they don't, so uh, so we don't. Uh, so we can't. So, uh, it's time to go to sleep. I'll see you guys in the morning. Have a good night. Rise and shine, everybody. It's a new day. A new day dawns. The dawn of a new day. The morning. <laughs> Anyways, let's check our stuff. Should have changed overnight. Uh, lots of acquisitions. Do we have any good ones? Uh, we have iron ingots, which I'll definitely accept because we should be able to get those soon. Silver, I'll go ahead and accept that. We have nickel. I'll go ahead and accept that. Silicon. Oh my gosh, these are actually really good. There's a lot of really good ones. Um, interior plates. Interesting. Uh, 764 for 500k. I wonder if that actually uh, if that actually computes. If I can actually sell like buy them for cheaper and then sell them. If they if I can, that will be uh, that'll be something good. All right, guys. Now is the moment of truth. Okay, that's the store. 
it either has motors or it doesn't. Now we've been here so many times and it's never had motors. So if it doesn't have motors, here's what I'm gonna say. If it does not have motors at all, I am going to go super try hard mode and I'm going to just pretty much work, make money, come back here, check it every single time it refreshes, work, make more money, come back here. I'm gonna do that until it gets motors, okay? And, uh, and I'm probably gonna, you know, I'll record it, but I probably won't include it in the video. So it will be recorded if you wanna see it. Let's, you know what, let's not worry about that. Let's see if it has motors first of all, okay? Oops, I pressed G. Do you have motors? <laughs> Cause I don't wanna spend hours getting motors. You have motors! Oh, but they're so expensive. Okay, hang on. First we need to pay our, pay our rent cause I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna spend our rent on motors. I was fully expecting it not to have motors and me to have to go super try hard mode. Uh, <laughs> I was just gonna pretty much like, uh, keep doing missions until it had motors or until I could afford a ship that had motors but they have motors which is huge uh and we need 18 of them so let's let's hop in here and see if we can afford 18 of them mm, we could certainly not we can afford three which is a start but you know what we have a lot of nickel missions so I'm gonna go ahead and buy the three and we're going to uh we're gonna go bring back some nickel so let's go ahead and do that we'll head to our towards our base with these motors um and we'll, and we'll head back. We should have enough to get the refinery running. Oh, the only thing though is the, the refinery is completely useless, isn't it? Until we get the uh, the solar panels. So I might still have to go super try hard mode until we get solar panels, unless that base has them. But uh, but yeah, let's get let's get back here so that we can start doing, uh, or, or so that we can get that nickel and silicon that they wanted. Uh, they want 111 silicon, which I can surely provide. Another 383 nickel, so I can just get that. And then another 324 nickel as well, so three, two, four. Okay, we should have everything that they wanted, so let's go ahead and bring that back, and that should give us enough money to uh, to actually get some, to, to get those motors. All right, welcome back. Let's complete these missions. Uh, they should be these ones down here. Finish this one. Yep, thank you very much. Finish, I guess that one. Yep, thank you very much and finish wherever it is this one right here and thank you very much how much money did they give us okay they only give us 110 so we definitely can't get all the motors i wonder if they have uh if they have the solar cells they don't have solar cells they have power cells they don't have power cells either so we are gonna have to go into super tryhard mode anyway that's fine um we only needed seven more of these and we did get seven so i'll go ahead and buy those uh we'll go and put these back at the base and then, ladies and gentlemen, we're transitioning to uh, try hard mode. All right, welcome back to our base where we can uh, luckily turn these in to a completed basic refinery. All right, we now have this up and, well, not running because we don't have this yet. So because we don't have this, I'm transitioning into try hard mode and that is in an effort to keep this series going since it's a mini series and I want to keep progressing. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to uh, pretty much stop uh, stop commenting i'm just going to go do missions over and over and over until either they refresh and have solar cells or power cells or i make enough money to buy a ship so i'm going to keep recording so if, if you guys want to see it i might upload it as a separate video but uh but yeah okay let's do this All right, everybody, I am back from tryharding this game like crazy. I was just, it, it's been about, it's been almost two hours, probably an hour and 45 minutes of working on contracts over and over until this finally produced solar cells. Let me show you what's, what we've done. Faction-wise, uh, actually, is the sun up yet? No, we, we haven't paid, it hasn't been a full uh, sun rotation yet, so we haven't paid any, uh, any dues. But um, faction-wise, we are... Uh, here, <laughs> with reputation, 181, because we've done probably 20 or so search missions. 
Um, and a, maybe a hull mission to the other one, I think. We did maybe one or two of those. But uh, yeah, so we have a lot of money now, by the way. Uh, we now have 730,000, which we've gained by all those missions, and we've been doing the acquisitions along the way. But finally, after all that time, they are selling solar cells. And I am going to buy 32 of these. Uh, we, we should have enough money. It's going to cost us a lot, but 32 of these is going to allow us to actually have power on this base. I was just about to... Let me buy these. I was just about to, if it didn't show up as having these, I was going to... Uh, uh, stop recording this until tomorrow because it, it's taken so long waiting for this thing to, uh, to actually put out some materials that we can use. But yeah, it looks like this only requires uh, 32. Yeah, it's 32. It's small. Oh, we could always do a small grade stuff if we really wanted to. Should I buy the extras since we couldn't find them very easily? I mean, the extras wouldn't provide us with a full solar panel, but it would provide us with half a panel. And if we want to do small grid stuff, we could. Yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and buy these. We have plenty of money right now. Let's purchase them. All right, we are just coming back. It should be right over this ridge. Okay, so you guys remember how on those search missions I would grind stuff down? I'd lose a little bit of reputation, but gain a couple of materials. Well, I, I did that in just about every search mission I went to. I attempted it, and we actually came out with quite a few materials from that. Just getting, you know, a steel plate here, an interior plate there, maybe a, a motor here. We just came out with a lot of stuff, and actually I found ice along the way on one of them as well. So we ended up getting a, a lot of free materials just from that. Um, and again, I, I recorded the whole thing if you want to watch it. I don't know if I'm going to upload it. I probably will. <laughs> I don't know. I'll upload it as unlisted or something, and maybe you can find it in the description below. It's super boring. It's like an hour and 45 minutes of just like no commentary. Well, every once in a while commentary, but like mostly no commentary. So yeah, but uh, but anyway, yeah, we got that stuff. Um, and I, I, I meant, or I, on purpose, I put everything inside this container so I would know what was from that. But anyways, we should now be able to get this set up. And there we are. We now have a soul. Oh, listen to that beautiful sound. I'll turn off my flashlight. Listen to that beautiful sound right there. We now have a solar panel up and running with one bar. It's not in a great position. That's okay. We can move it whenever we want because uh, it's lossless if you if you grind it. But uh, let's let's try this thing out. Let's give this thing a, uh, a go. Actually, uh, I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to throw some cobalt in there. I don't have cobalt. I think the first thing we're going to do is we're going to throw some iron in there. <laughs> now, remember, we can't really use the iron. Wait, why did it stop? Why did it stop? It's not doing anything. Uh, did I break it? Uh-oh. I don't think it's getting enough power. All right. Here we go. And with this setup, we should be able to get a little bit more than just the one bar uh, because the sun is right there. Yep, we're getting two bars here. But why is our basic refinery not refining this? It's got four bars. Surely it doesn't need more power than this thing can provide, right? 330, max output. Well, shoot. <laughs> It looks like we, we're not able to produce enough power for this thing to use. So, it seems like we're still going to need a battery. to uh, or, or a second solar panel. In order to get this thing up and running. So, one thing I've noticed about the stations is that once they start selling an item, they usually sell it for multiple days in a row. So, it's possible that that's going to be selling these things tomorrow as well. I guess for now, let's go back. We'll do another set of missions and maybe it will... Uh, Maybe it will change by uh, by the time... Like, maybe they'll be selling more solar cells. And if they are, then we should be good. Oh, sun's up. We need to pay our uh, pay our rent. There's a little eclipse going on there. Nice. Or, uh, what's that called, actually? It's not an eclipse. It's called... Because uh, it's not eclipsing it, obviously. It's called a... Uh, a transit? Is that what it's called? When a planet goes uh, in between the sun and you? We'll see if they're selling... Ah, they're selling more! Okay, we don't need to go and do that, that mission, then. Um, okay, in that case, we're going to buy 32 of these. Buy. Plus another... Because we want... Let's get three solar panels uh, up and running. Because two solar panels is just enough. But three will actually be proper. Uh, so we have 15. So we need 17. Buy those. All right, let's build these things up. I got to be careful with my hydrogen. But let's, let's get these done. Okay, so first, one like that. Yep. Another one like that. And another one like... Well, we don't have enough steel plates. Another one like this. And it just occurred to me, I might actually have to go back to the uh, the store here. Because I didn't get all the stuff. I need girders, construction components. You guys know the, the stuff. Alright, I'm going to go grab, uh, I think it's 24 girders, if they're selling them. I really hope they are. 
Otherwise, this episode is just going to last forever, which, I mean, at this point, I feel like is uh, inevitable. Hello, just popping into the general store. See if they have any girders. <laughs> of course they don't. <laughs> How are they going to do this to me? Every time I need something, they don't have it. <laughs> ah! We're just going to sit. We're just going to sit and wait until they have girders. All right, welcome back. I've done a little bit of waiting around at this outpost to see if we could get the store to uh, to pop up with girders. And finally, after a little bit of waiting, we have uh, girders that have popped up in the store. So we have a lot of new stuff, girders being the main one we're concerned with. I want to real quick check how many girders we need. Uh, just 12 times 2, which is 24. So let's see if we can get 24 of these. They're not that expensive. I mean, they're kind of expensive. Okay, yeah, it is going to run us a little bit. But I think we're, we're just going to buy these. Uh, and in fact, I want to see if they have power cells as well, do they? Um, no, they do have power cells. Jeez, okay. Uh, if they have power cells, I really need... How many do you need? I think you need like 80, right? For a, for a battery. Okay, so a battery by standard requires 80 power cells. That's going to be way too expensive for us. Uh, but a smaller one requires 20 power cells, which would be much more feasible if we wanted to try and put one on a small grid. But I want to check out as well the hydrogen tank. Uh, or the hydrogen engine, rather, because that also requires one power cell. Um, so I think let's buy a couple of power cells just so that we ha we can do this when we want to because power cells also seem like they're pretty rare. Uh, so let's go over here for power cells. We're going to buy, uh, can, can I afford 20? There's no way, right? Well, we can afford 20. It's going to pretty much bankrupt us. Do we spend all of our money? You know what? It's easy to make money, especially now that we'll have the uh, refinery up and running. Let's just go ahead and buy the 20. Um, all right, well, in that case, we have everything we wanted, so let's go back to our base uh, now that we have everything and get everything set up. Oh, this is an exciting part. We're going to finally be able to get everything uh, everything working and uh, and complete those missions that we've had for ages. So let's uh, let's fly over here. This is going to be... This is going to be good. <laughs> this is like the next the next major step in this series is getting that uh, getting that thing up and running. Uh, of course, the next major step after that would be getting a ship that would allow us to mine a little bit faster. But we've already seen that those cost millions. So, um, well, maybe next episode. Maybe maybe we'll be able to work next episode toward getting that set up. I don't know. But anyway, yeah, getting this refinery up and running is going to be awesome. Okay, let's uh, build these up. We don't have the construction components for them, but I think they work without them, right? Uh, they should. That's four. That's two. I think these are going to go up to four anyway, though, so that's fine. Uh, I'm going to plop our other materials in here. There we go. We finally got this running. Now, the only problem is that it's only going to run during the day as well. It's only going to uh, it's only going to be able to run uh, when these have all uh, maximum amounts of power, which is why a battery is going to be incredibly important eventually. But I think for now, we'll, uh, we'll be fine. Okay, I'm going to remove that because we don't need that anymore. All right, while this thing is running, I think I'm going to go try and find cobalt. I think we have a place. Okay, yeah, so over there has cobalt. So let's go over there and mine a little bit of the stuff. And if I remember correctly, it was on the back, right? Unless we have cobalt over there. No, we have cobalt. So that's an easier access cobalt, I think. So let's go and get some from here instead. Because we already have holes dug down here. And I think the cobalt is right on the front here. Oh, I could be wrong. Uh, nickel. Oh, yes. Okay, so the cobalt's right here. We're going to have to dig probably another hole right here. All right, here's the cobalt. Let's make ourselves a nice little hole and let's get as much of this as we can carry because uh, I'm pretty sure the refinery can actually refine this cobalt. Like, I don't think you need a proper refinery for it. So we should be good, but we'll find out if we're not. But the nice thing about cobalt, though, is it's it's our first, like, super valuable item that we're mining. Let's do a little bit of bee hopping because it's fun. It's our first super valuable thing. So, like, uh, like gold and silver are pretty valuable. Cobalt is also up there with that. So that's going to be our high-end thing that we can refine at this stage. So let's get it going. Let's get some cobalt in there. Now, the, the only thing about cobalt, though, is it takes ages to actually get cobalt refined. Look at this. Uh, so that's where a proper refinery is going to come in, uh, come into play, is getting that uh, refined a little faster. Um, but, I mean, we can build as many of these refineries as we, uh, as we want to, so we could really build out this base if we want to get, like, some actual production going, which we probably are going to want to because that cobalt is so slow. Uh, speaking of cobalt, how many how many missions do we have? You want 178 cobalt? Good lord, that's a lot of that's gonna and then another 396. That's a lot of stuff. That's gonna take so long. Okay, so this is doing its thing. It's gonna again, it's gonna take ages, and it's only gonna be able to work when it's daytime, so that's not good. But uh, but 
Anyways, we can at least be able to take this things. I'm gonna grab 600 of that, because I, I don't know exactly how much we need, but I know that's like about how much we need. And let's fly over back to the base, because we have some stuff that we can give it. We're nowhere close to completing any of those Cobalt contracts, but, uh, but one day. All right, and now we can go and do these contracts. So accepted contracts, actually, are there any new ones? They still have this gold ingot one. Let me actually complete one of these ones and I'll go and grab that gold ingot one. So we'll complete these ones right here, which are super easy. These are just our nickel ore contracts. There's another one right there. Yep. And we're gonna grab that gold contract because I do, even though we're gonna have to go to earth before we can actually complete those because we, we, need, the, uh, we need the actual refinery, I'm still gonna grab them just so I have them. Iron ingot. Oh, that's the other one. Whoops. And then we have another, there we go. We have another iron ingot right here. Awesome. And is that it? Yes, that is it. Until we can get other stuff up and running. And these cobalt ones, yeah. Until we can get those up and running as well. Oh, here's another interesting thing, actually. They're not selling hydrogen anymore. Or they, like, not, not on this particular day. So that's another thing I should be a little bit scared of. And in fact, since we've just discovered this, let me real quick go search for O2 H2 generator because I want to check what this requires. I think the main thing we we're missing were the steel plates, 120 of them. If I can get those, that is actually now a pretty high priority. So 120 steel plates? No way. No way we can get that many. Um, we may want to build a small grid setup. And I'm saying that because we have enough for a battery. What do we need for it? We need a merge block would be nice. How, what's, what's the cheapest thing we can do to connect the... Uh, why can't I not get out of this? The cheapest thing we can do to connect things. A rotor? Probably. All right, we're going to pick up a couple of steel plates. Not as many as we need for the large thing, but I've decided what we're going to do. Let's grab maybe 15. No, let's let's grab 10. Buy those. Awesome. And we're going to go back to the base. They're not selling hydrogen, so it's in extremely important that we set up a, uh, a way for us to uh, make our own hydrogen, because otherwise we're going to pretty much have to wait around until they start selling hydrogen again before we can actually be productive. So... Uh, and getting this set up is going to be extremely important to get our bottles working. So uh, just here at the end of this episode, because I hope this one doesn't become too long, um, but this is the last thing we're going to do in this episode. Uh, we're going to try and get this thing up and running. So uh, part of me wonders if I want to reposition this entire base just to be on top of that hill so that we don't have to worry about the... Th I think what I'm going to do instead is I'm just going to build a tower. I think that'll probably work a little bit better. I don't really want to reposition the entire base. But anyways, yes, so this is not going to happen. That's, that's too much. What we will do, however, though, is we'll uh, do something like this. How many steel plates do I have in here? We have another five. Okay, so we have a little bit to work with. I'm gonna pop out here with one of these, and then I'm gonna place a rotor on top of that right there. Now, I don't know, this doesn't give me back a steel plate, does it? <laughs> okay, if it did, that would be too easy. But we're gonna use our build vision here to plop a uh, small rotor head. Oops, come on, there we go. Still trying to get used to it. Uh, okay, now we have a small rotor head on there. Next thing we're going to do is go up a block. We're going to go out one, and then we're going to plop our this thing right here. Let's uh, let's plop it like this right here, uh, and let's try and build it up. Okay, we can use all the stuff from here. We don't need you anymore. Uh, we need one more steel plate. We need another three construction components, and that is it. So one more steel plate. There we go. Three construction components. <gasps> Where are my construction components? Okay, we need to do a, an emergency stop by the uh, by the other thing, so we can get those. Otherwise, I mean, we could. If we can't get those ones, we're just gonna yoink these ones. Let's uh, let's go see if they're selling them though. Anyway, all right. Unfortunately, they don't have any at the store, so we are gonna have to yoink some from the other thing. But no worries. All right, it's fine. All we have to do is we need to take a couple of these construction components, which this one has plenty. So I'm just gonna actually wait. Hang on. Let me let me min max this real quick. So I only need three. Let's deposit two back here. Uh, are you gonna steal anything else? Yeah, you're gonna steal two more steel plates as well So let me deposit those as well so it doesn't steal them and There we go. So it's now functional and now I can just take back All right, there we go. We have successfully min maxed this so we're not using any of the extra uh, Non-functional pieces. All right. So now my question is Is that turning that might actually turn because it's not on rotor lock, but uh, and I'm fine with that. Uh, my question is does this actually have power now that this uh, now that this stuff is Oh, let me put these back does it actually have power now that it's on that thing and connected to the base? Or do we have to actually build up the uh, the block that it's on? Let's find out. We're, we're going to stick some... Uh, well, we're going to stick those in there along with a little bit of ice. 
uh, all of the ice, actually. And we're going to see if it works properly. And the answer is no. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like it's got power. Oh, no, that's because these don't have power. Okay, well, in that case, do we have... How many steel plates do we have? Four. Is that it? Okay, we have a bunch of interior plates, though. So we're going to use interior plates as our blocks uh, because we don't want to waste all of our steel plates. Uh, so for that, we're going to use things that require interior plates, like beams, maybe? Ah, okay, so the interior walls actually do, uh, do use a, an interior plate. So I'm just going to build those instead. So we're going to do something like this. Since we, we have 90 of these, so we have plenty of room to play with. I'm going to build a beam that's about like that. Three. I don't know how tall I want it. I wanted to be able to peek over that mountain at least, so... Uh, so that we can get the uh, the sun as it goes back there. And I don't want to use all of my stuff. Okay, yeah, that's probably good. Let's uh, now move these all up there. Alright, let's move these up here. So I'm going to put them like this, I think. There's one. Here's two. Here's three. They should be at least able to get a little bit of the power. So now we have all those set up. Let's fly back down here. Our energy is getting really low, so we're going to have to make a quick trip to the other place in a second. I really hope this is working now. It is, yes. Okay, we now have bottles. I'm going to make a quick trip to the... Because I, I don't have any way I can uh, replenish power myself. So I'm going to make a quick quick trip over to here, replenish my power, and then we will end the episode on a good note. We have a lot of stuff uh, set up finally that has, been, uh, that has been holding us back. So definitely a productive episode here. Uh, and we finally have these bottles, so that's going to help us out quite a bit as well. Of course, now that gives us something else we have to keep an eye on, making sure that our, bat our bottles uh, don't go too low. Otherwise, we'll get ourselves stranded out in the uh, wilderness. But if we wanted to make a trip back to Earth, the bottles make that so much easier now uh, to do. So, good stuff. Let's go ahead and land here at this beautiful base. And, uh, and get ourselves some power. Close that. Sit back down right here, and that's going to bring us to the end of this episode. Uh, if you guys like this episode, please hit the like button. Put any comments, uh, suggestions that you might get, might have for future episodes uh, down in the comments section. We're finally getting somewhere. Uh, I think that's really good. And next episode, we're going to try and get a ship, some sort of uh, some sort of mining ship or something to make our our uh, our mining a little our mining and hauling a little bit easier. Uh, all right, I'll see you guys in the next episode of Space Engineers Economy Only Challenge.